Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build price and option a 2019 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 LTZ Crew Cab, as well as learn about the other 2019 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 configurations along the way. Now, before we do this, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Full-size pickup trucks have been the best-selling vehicles in America for a while now. They seamlessly blend maximum utility and family-friendly versatility and can be had as bare-bone work trucks all the way up to decked-out luxury rigs. The 2019 Chevrolet Silverado 1500, redesigned from the ground up this year, represents the continuing evolution of this segment. It has lots of modern tech, a slew of available features, and all sorts of upgraded utility. Okay, let's just jump into this build and price review today of the 2019 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 and its configurations. As I was just saying, the truck is all new, all redesigned this year. They say bigger, stronger, and lighter than the previous generation, offers you more choices and more capability, right? And it's built on a legacy of the longest lasting full-size pickup trucks on the road. That's the Silverado. The MSRP starts at 28300 That's surely probably for the work truck. Uh, your fuel economy, your base fuel economy with the basic engine, and we'll find out what that engine is here in a little bit, is 15 miles to a gallon in the city, 20 miles to a gallon on the highway. The, the standard bed, you get 62.9 cubic feet of volume space. Let's check some colors of, this, uh, of the Silverado. So check this out. We've got these tabs here. And we can see the exterior paint color of this uh, 2019 um, Silverado 1500. This one says it's red hot. This color here is Havana Brown Metallic. This one is Satin Steel Metallic. That's a nice one, actually. I like that. This is North Sky Blue Metallic. I'm not really a blue person for vehicle colors, but these aren't bad shades of blue. Um, there's a Silver Ice Metallic. Also nice, Summit White. I'm actually digging all of them. Black, uh, the Oakwood Metallic, it's all right. The Shadow Gray Metallic, that's nice, I like that. Then you have the Cajun Red Metallic. And then finally, is this like a pepper dust? No, Iridescent Pearl Metallic. All right, so those are all the exterior colors for our 2019 Silverado. Here they're showing us some notable features, right, that you can get an engine up to 420 horsepower. There's six advanced powertrains available. There's available advanced trailering technology. We're obviously going to learn about all of this going forward here. And then there's available advanced active safety features. So what we're going to do is, if you haven't watched any of my build and price reviews before, is we're going to go over all the features, learn all about the new Chevy Silverado 1500, and then at the end, we're going to do a build and price of the LTZ, okay? So there are eight trim choices. There are eight trim choices. That's a lot. Let's take a look at these. So yeah, the 2019 Chevy Silverado is a full-size pickup available in eight trim levels. There's a work truck they call WT. There's the custom, uh, sorry, there's the custom. There's the custom trail boss. There's an LT, RST, LT trail boss, LTZ, and high country. Like most full-size trucks, the Silverado is available with varying cab and bed configurations, depending on trim level. While most buyers will be fine with the mid-level LT or RST trim level, I think the premium LTZ and high country trims are the most appealing in the Silverado lineup. They provide safety equipment you can't get on the less expensive trims, and they come with almost all the standard interior tech you can ask for. They're also the only two that offer the optional 6.2 liter V8. Of the two, I'd probably opt for the LTZ. It includes most of the high country standard equipment and option packages, so you can pick and choose what you want. All right, let's check the gallery really fast. There's quite a few photos. Um, they don't, yeah, they do actually have a little bit of uh, information below the, uh, the image. So this one says key fob with power tailgate function. That's cool. We can see right above their thumb. That it says press two times to lower the th uh, to lower the um, tailgate, and then this looks like a remote start, right? That's probably what that means down here over on the left-hand side of that. That's pretty cool. This is the 1500 short box, 
High Country, and Iridescent Pearl. I won't necessarily read those little snippets of information. If you want to make sure you catch that and I don't, you can always pause the video real fast. Right, nice shot. Look at the bumpers there with the step-ins right there where you can step up in the bumper right there. So you've got those foot pockets or whatever they call them. I'm sure they have a name and they'll probably tell us, but that's pretty cool. This one has the Z71 off-road package. Here's a shot from the back. This is the available power up-down tailgate. That's really cool. I like that. Here's another shot of it. And a nice shot of the bed. It says... 12 standard tie-downs and nine more available dealer install removable tie-downs from Chevrolet Accessories. So you can really, if you need tie-downs, they got you covered. Here's an available bed-mounted 110 or 120-volt power outlet. All right, apparently I am reading all this stuff because it's good information. <laughs> all right, here's a short bed they're showing, and they're just showing the utility, showing it out of the, you know, doing some work like a truck should do. Here's another, here's a work truck in Summit White with a regular cab on it. Here's a RST with a Z71 off-road package, 4x4, looking quite nice. I'm usually into the Ford trucks, but these this Silverado looks really nice. Silverado Crew Cab LT 4x4, right? And if you're like Fords too, I actually did the, uh, a 2019 Ford F-150. I'm going to go ahead and put a link up for you right now. Here's a nice shot of a uh, short box high country in Havana Brown. With some available features out in the countryside, who knows where, but the truck looks nice. It's standing up real nice and tall. I like tall trucks. Here's a crew cab short box, trail box, trail boss, 4x4 in Summit White. That looks pretty good. Here's another shot. I won't read through some of all of those so we can get through these. That looks good there. I like that. That looks good. Look how tall these trucks are. This one's got some nice tires on there. See, Z71 off-road package. Those tires look a little knobbier, look a little more aggressive than, say, the tires on this particular car. Note that Corvette over there in the backdrop, right? Note that Corvette over the backdrop. Yeah, that's hot. <laughs> that's really hot. All right, let's move on. Here's the full lineup, right, with all the eight trim levels here, starting at the work truck. We can see the work truck over here on the left, far left. There we go. They're showing a few more. And there's, we can't see it. But we can see that this uh, person's foot in the image here is stepping up right where uh, in that tailgate step right there. In the bumper step or whatever they call it. I'm not really sure. I'm sure we'll learn what that's called as we go forward. It's a nice looking truck, I have to admit. Here's the work truck. All right, here's another shot. Okay, here we go. Now we can get to some interior photos. Here we are. Here's a Silverado, Silverado High Country with the jet black and umber accents. Looks good, looks spacious, looks roomy in there. I like the Chevys. I like the insides of the Chevys. You know, uh, yeah, it's not bad looking. There's a digital speedometer right there. I can see it. I love a digital speedometer. There's your Apple CarPlay. This is your available integrated trailer brake controller. Here's a conveniently located switches, help keep you in control. All the power you need, USB ports, a standard 120 volt uh, power outlet, house household style. That's cool. Look at here in the back seats. You've got uh, available heated rear seats. You've got rear seat air conditioning, and you've got your uh, your stuff for your um, your tech. You've got your USB ports and all that kind of stuff there. That's real nice. Ooh, there is some utility. Available rear end seat back storage compartment. Now that is really trick. Okay, here they're showing us the available two-speed transfer case and selectable drive modes. Then we've got the Silverado High Country seat in jet black with those umber accents. We saw that. That's what they've been showing us in all the interior photos, really. Okay, so those were all the gallery photos. So we saw the exterior photos, learned about those features and stuff as we went through them, and we saw some interior photos and learned some features as we went through those. Now they want to tell us about the most functional bed of any pickup so let's uh let's read about that i won't play the video because i don't like to play video in video it just doesn't work well but right below that they're going to tell us about this bed it says they took the hardest working part of the truck and redesigned it to be lighter larger and stronger stronger durabed durabed combines high strength roll form steel more cargo volume than any other truck and 12 standard tie downs 
three times more than any competitor with innovative features like an available industry first power up down tailgate to offer the most functional bed of any pickup so yeah they're throwing it down right there they're telling us what's up here's a beautiful shot of the bed look at that it says high country right there on the back uh really really beautiful Let's check this out here so if we scroll down here they're going to tell us a little bit of information so the first tier we've got here says volume. You know, we've got the whole bed is down, so they're going to tell us about the volume. It says all new design provides more space in the cargo box to offer what? Up to 20% more cargo volume than the competition. Best in class bed width. Best in class bed length for standard and short box. And then it also, this vehicle, offers more cargo volume in the short box than the competitor's standard box. Next, we're going to learn about the high-strength steel. It says, built from stronger, high-strength, roll-form steel than in the previous generation, the bed floor of the all-new Silverado is tougher and lighter than ever. Next, they want to tell us about the tie-downs. It says, need to keep your cargo secure? DuraBed has you covered with more tie-downs than any other competitor, including 12 standard tie-downs, three welded into each corner of the cargo box, rated at 500 pounds per corner, and then up to nine available removable accessory tie-downs that, well, I guess you can purchase from the parts counter. Next, they want to tell us about some tailgate options. This truck looks very nice from the back, by the way. They want to tell us about some tailgate options, so let's check that out. It says DuraBed offers two convenient power tailgate options to make loading and unloading your Silverado even easier. So there's a power release tailgate, and the available power release tailgate can be operated by automatically lowered can be automatically lowered using that key fob. We saw that button or a touchpad on the gate itself. We also saw that photo available on work truck, custom, custom trail boss and LT. And it's standard on the RST, the L LT trail boss and the LTZ, which we're going to build in price today. Then they want to tell us about the power up down tailgate. And this is an industry first. And it takes the functionality of the power release tailgate even further by also letting you raise the tailgate with the push of a button. This is available on the LTZ, thank goodness, and it's standard on the high country. Finally, here, they want to tell us about some conveniences. All right, so let's learn about those real fast and then we can move on. Okay, so make life a little easier with innovative enhancements like an available 120 volt outlet located near the tailgate. Available lighting around the hitch, cargo box, and perimeter of the truck. And here's what it was called. Larger corner step footwells designed to better accommodate work boots. Gotcha. That's those where we could step in right off the bumper right there that I had saw, uh, that we saw way earlier up in the video. All right. Let's learn about power that works for us. Okay. Real truck stories of capability. Let's learn a little bit more about what they're going to tell us says there's no one tool that's right for every job, which is why the all-new Silverado offers six powertrains, six different powertrains, including an all-new 3-liter Duramax turbo diesel, turbo diesel, right, late availability, a responsive 2.7-liter turbo, and a powerful and advanced 6.2-liter V8 with dynamic fuel management, so you can choose the right combination of power and efficiency for your needs. Okay, first up, they're going to show us this 6.2 liter V8 with dynamic fuel cell management. It makes 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. It's got a 10-speed automatic transmission. It's got auto stop-start technology, and it is the only V. This V8 is only available on the LTZ and the High Country trim levels. So it looks like they have a couple of different trims of the 5.3 liter V8. One with dynamic fuel management and one with active fuel management. They both make the same amount of horsepower. The one with dynamic fuel management has an 8-speed automatic transmission with stop-start technology. And it's standard on the LT Trail Boss, LTZ, and the High Country. And the 5.3 liter with the active fuel management, that one only has a 6-speed automatic transmission. And this is the one that basically comes on the work truck the custom and the custom trail boss. Then there's the 4.3 liter V6 with active fuel management. It makes 285 horse and 305 pound feet of torque. It's got a six speed automatic transmission. And this engine is standard on the work truck, the custom and the custom trail boss. 
Okay, I want to know a little bit about this engine. I like turbo, so I was curious about this one. 2.7 liter turbo. It makes 310 horsepower and 348 pound-feet of torque. It's got the 8-speed uh, automatic transmission, auto stop-start technology, and it's standard on the LT and on the RST. Okay, and then finally, there's the 3-liter Duramax turbo diesel. They don't tell us the horsepower, which stinks. That's what I really wanted to know. It comes with a 10-speed automatic transmission, auto stop-start technology, and it's available on the RT, I'm sorry, the LT, the RST, the LTZ, and the High Country. It's got a late availability, so I, apparently the motor's not out yet. Here's some other notable features. The drive mode selector. The road ahead isn't always a smooth one, but with the available drive mode selector, you'll be able to adjust your truck's performance with the simple turn of a dial. Available modes include tour, sport, tow haul, off-road, terrain, snow, and ice. Now, there's also this Z71 off-road package. I see a lot of trucks with the Z71 badging on them. So get the off-road capability you need and head off the beaten path with the legendary Z71 off-road package. Here are the features. Off-road suspension with Rancho shocks, hill descent control, automatic locking rear differential, all-terrain tires, heavy-duty air filters, skid plates, auto track, two-speed transfer case. Check this out. I think this is interesting. It says find the right truck for the job. So based on what trim level you choose, right, we're doing the LTZ. It's going to show us the available engines with the LTZ. Right now, that diesel engine isn't out, so they don't have it here. But with the 6.2 liter, they tell us it makes 420 horse, 460 pound-feet of torque, and we can tow 12,200 pounds. Now, if we went with the 5.3 liter V8 with the 8-speed transmission, now we're at 355 horse, 383 pound-feet of torque, and now we can tow just 9,900 pounds, 9,000 900 pounds so i think that's cool how they have this here so you can play with that configuration so you can see what you're what you're going to be towing you got to make sure that you're getting the right setup because you already know what you probably need to tow so that's pretty cool okay they're going to talk about tech for the long haul about their trailering technology so let's dig in real quick learn about this trailer technology on this 2019 uh, silverado 1500 so there's a few things they're going to show us. They want to, right now we're on the, on the module called in-vehicle trailering system. There's more of it to see. I'll pull that down in a second. Then there's trailering tech, visibility, and then my Chevrolet mobile app. So let's dig in. Let's pull this down and see everything they want to tell us about this in-vehicle trailering system. Okay, so they have a few things for us to click on. Pre-departure checklist, trailering profiles. Let's just click on these and see what it ta where it takes us. Hang on a second. All right, so there's a pre-departure checklist. Make sure everything is secure before hitting the open road with this built-in checklist. That's cool. Then there's trailering profiles. Create named profiles for your trailers so you'll have info like trailer mileage and tire pressure, maintenance reminders, and tow haul mode reminders at your fingertips. That's super cool. I like that. Then there's a trailer light test. To help you ensure all of your truck and trailer lights are in working order, this feature activates your brake lights and turn signals so you can perform a visual inspection before you head out on the road. And then there's the service reminders. Provides trailer maintenance reminders for things like brakes, tires, and wheel bearings based on time or mileage. So yeah, that's pretty neat. I like that. So next up is trailering tech, and just like the first window, they have these snippets of information for us. And the first one is they're telling us that there's a tire pressure, tire pressure and temperature monitor. This is an available feature, so it's not standard, right? This is uh, the available feature checks the pressure and temperature of the air inside and up to four trailer tires to help detect potential blowouts. So you got that. And then there's a trailer theft alert. Should your trailer become unplugged while your Silverado is parked? This industry-first technology can sound the horn and flash the lights to alert you. In addition, if you have an active OnStar safety and security plan and set up theft alarm notification preferences, you can receive a notification by phone, or phone text, or email, which is also cool. And lastly, there's a tow haul reminder. When the system detects that a trailer is hooked up to your Silverado, this feature can remind you to engage tow haul mode, which improves acceleration, while hauling a heavy load. That's cool. 
That was trailer tech. Now they want to talk to us about visibility. There's one, two, three, four things they want to tell us about visibility. So let's jump into that. First up is hitch guidance with hitch view. A dynamic backing guideline is integrated onto the image when you select hitch guidance on the rear vision camera screen. While hitch view allows you to zoom in on the hitch for a top down view, making it easier to hook up your trailer on your own. That's pretty cool. I like that. And then what else is there? There's electric parking brake hookup assist. When driving in reverse with hitch view active, the industry first electric brake, I'm sorry, electric parking brake hookup assist automatically sets the parking brake when you shift to park to help you avoid any unintentional vehicle rolling when hitching. All right. And then there's, oh, check it out, side view cameras. We can see them down there underneath. Available cameras integrated into the side view mirrors offer a view of the sides of the trailer to help with hitching and trailering. And then lastly, there's a rear trailer camera. Mounted on the rear of your trailer, this available auxiliary camera system lets you monitor the area behind the trailer using the built-in display on the Chevrolet Infotainment 3 system. That's interesting. And then lastly, they want to tell us about the My Chevrolet mobile app. So let's check that out. There is a trailer light test. Yeah, we already knew about that. We can make sure the trailer lights work. There's a trailering glossary. That's interesting. Need to know the difference between GCWR and GVWR? Yeah, I actually do. So yeah, I need that, that handy trailering glossary. That's pretty cool. A how-to guide. Learn how to use advanced trailering technologies. In the all-new Silverado with a series of quick and informative how-to videos. Also cool. And then there's a trailering load calculator. Find out the combined weight of your truck and trailer for a con confident towing experience by using your trailering information label and dynamic load calculator tool. That's awesome. Moving on, they're going to start talking about the interior. It says a cabin that goes from work day to weekend. So let's find out about that. It says whether you're trying to get to work or just trying to get away for a few days, the spacious cabin of the all-new Silverado pairs hardworking functionality with refined comfort. And here are some interior features like, yes, heads-up display. Heads-up display, which I love to help you keep your eyes on the road. An available multicolor 15-inch diagonal heads-up display can project information like your vehicle speed, navigation, and available active safety alerts onto your windshield. Super cool. And then storage here in the middle. We already saw that during the gallery. This is actually cool, though. Two available segment first, rear seat back storage compartments, rear under seat storage, and a spacious compartment in the available center console offer the room you need to store your gear while you're on the go. And then over here on the far right, it says a comfortable cabin. The redesigned cabin is bigger in almost every way, offering more shoulder room, rear passenger space, and best-in-class front head and leg room that's pretty cool okay what's this all about stay online when you're off-road from hands-free calling and texting to turning your truck into a mobile 4g wi-fi hotspot silverado offers the technology you need to stay connected from the job site to the campsite and here's all the stuff it has apple carplay android auto available 4g 4g lte wi-fi hotspot which i think connect up to like eight or ten devices or something chevrolet infotainment 3 system the My Chevrolet mobile app, streaming music apps, available Chevrolet connected access. So there's a whole bunch going on with that. All right, let's talk safety. Let's talk safety. When it comes to your protection, Silverado brings brains and brawn to the table with a high strength steel safety and available active safety features designed to help you stay out of harm's way while you're on the road. They've got a few pages of uh, information they want to show us. I'm not going to read all of it because a lot of this stuff we already understand. There's a forward collision, uh, forward collision alert. There's a low-speed forward automatic braking. And there's a front pedestrian braking. It's worth noting that in this they said available system. This one says available system. Available system. What I'm trying to get at here is that the forward collision alert, the low-speed speed forward automatic braking, and the front pedestrian braking doesn't sound like it's standard equipment. Right. And that's what I was saying in the beginning. You got to go to the upper trim levels to get some of this safety tech that's not even available on something like, say, the work truck. Right. But we're going to be optioning the LTZ. 
It's going to have all of this. All right, let's move on. I just wanted to point that out to you. It's worth mentioning. Again, these are all available features. These are all optional features and might not be available depending on what truck, what trim level you get. But this is the lane change alert with side blind zone alert. And then there's rear cross traffic alert, which I really love. And then there's the following distance indicator, which is also cool. This available feature can provide the driver with the following time to a moving vehicle detected in front of them to help them know if they are following too closely. Like a lot of people are way following too closely these days. So I like that following distance indicator. More available safety features, the lane keep assist with lane departure warning. There's a rear camera mirror, and then there's a front and rear park assist. And lastly, these available safety features are the safety alert seat, which is very cool, uh, the forward collision alert, and the low speed forward automatic braking. It's worth noting, here they're telling us the next generation plant for a next generation pickup. When you're building the strongest Silverado ever, you don't do it in any old plant. You build it out of a globally sourced, you build it out of globally sourced parts at the award-winning Fort Wayne assembly plant, where a world-class team uses state-of-the-art technology to ensure that every truck that rolls off the line is worthy of the name Silverado. And there's another image here to check out. Wow, that looks cool. That kind of looks like my uh Kind of looks like some of my uh, my imagery that I use on, on my uh, About page. That's pretty cool. I like that. They're showing the truck being built, all the automation and the robotics. Very cool. Here's some quick spec highlights. If you have the crew cab, your maximum bed volume is 71.7 cubic feet. Your max payload is 2,180 pounds. Your front and rear leg room, respectively, 44.5 uh, 44 in the front. 43.4 in the back, and your max trailering is going to be 12,100 pounds. If you get the double cab, your max trailering only goes up 100 pounds. Your max payload goes up 10 pounds. Uh, your max bed volume only went up a, a very little bit. I think it was 71, what was it? Seven, yes, yeah, it's the same, 71.7, and, your, um, and your, your front leg room is still the same, but your back leg room has suffered now. Uh, to 35.2 down from 43 and change. And then with the regular cab, now you've got a max trailering of 10,100 pounds. you got a max payload of 2250. you got a max, max bed volume, however, of 81.9 cubic feet. And you got front leg room of 44.5 inches. Okay, let's get into the configuration. There's eight steps they're telling us. We're on step one of eight. All right, so... First thing we need to do is what? Let's scroll down here and what? We need to choose our bed. What do we want? So far we got the crew cab with a standard bed. Now, can we get the crew cab? I would like to have a, I'm sorry, we had the crew cab with a short bed selected. I don't want that. I want a crew cab with the standard bed. I want as long a bed as possible. So we're going to go ahead and select that real fast. Okay, now we've got that selected. Crew cab with the standard bed. And then we have four-wheel drive already selected. I do want that. And then as far as engines are concerned, we know that the standard 5.3 liter engine, but I want that 6.2. I want the 420 horsepower. Give me the 6.2 liter engine. Let's go ahead and select that real fast. Well, the first thing that popped up was they told us that there was a conflict with what I wanted. The 6.2 engine is not available with my current selection. I'm not sure why, but I'm scrolling down looking at all this. I wanted a crew cab with the standard bed, four-wheel drive. I wanted it with the 6.2. I thought that's what I had selected, but apparently not. But now we've got it all in order. We can see that the price now is $53,940. we are not really following the price, but I like to have a ballpark of what these trucks are costing. You know, I used to be into Mercedes and BMWs, and I found that a lot of these trucks cost just as much as those vehicles. <laughs> so it's out of one thing and into another. But anyway... That's where we're at. We got the 6.2, and we do have the standard bed, four-wheel drive, and the standard bed. That's all the stuff that I had selected before. At any rate, let's move on to trims. Okay, here we are at trim, and let's see. Now, we obviously don't want the work truck. This is where we pick our LTZ, right? There it is right there, the LTZ already selected. That gives us all those options. We already learned about it. Let's move on to colors. Okay, now we're on the colors page. That's step three of eight. 
They've got Havana Brown automatically selected. I'm not really feeling that. I kind of liked, um, oh, there's their premium colors. I kind of like that iridescent pearl tricoat. I'm not going to joke. I, I often go, I like the uh, the whites with the extra metallic flake in them and the very pearly whites. I like that. So we're going to go for that. It's a $9.95 option. That was their premium paint. Um, for interior, you get two options. You can either go for this light shade of gray or the jet black. And I'm all about the jet black interior. So we're going with the jet black leather. It's already uh, selected for us. So let's move on and see what they got for packages. Okay, here we are on the packages page, step four of eight. There is an LTZ premium package that gives us what? Power sliding rear window, front bucket seats, power sunroof, and the front center con and a front center console. There's also an off-road appearance package, and its highlights are off-road black assist steps. You've got this off-road sport bar and the premium soft top roll-up tonneau cover. Right? That's for that package. It's twenty-five hundred dollars, basically. Then here's the Z71 off-road and protection package. Front and second row all-weather floor liners, Chevy uh, tech spray-on bed liner, hill descent control, high-capacity air filter. I think there's also some other things in there. Let's check it out. Yeah, here it all is. It's all right here. Heavy-duty liners. Um, they tell us about the different wheels you get. If you get an LTZ, that comes with 20-inch wheels. If you get an LT and RST, you get 18-inch wheels. Spray-in bed liner, skid plates, heavy-duty air filters. You're getting quite a bit for $1,800. It's a good deal. I think we're just going to go ahead and crack that off right now. Right now, we're going to get that bad boy. Um, so it says there's a configuration assistant. So we've got to remove a few things. Um, a max trailing package we need to remove. And they're going to add all these other things. And that's fine, to be honest with you. So yeah, let's go ahead and select that. We're good. There's another package. Man, Chevy's got a lot of packages. There's another package here that's called the LTZ Plus package. Now, that gives us all these additional things. Two USB ports with auxiliary input. Power up, down, tailgate. That's where that lies. Um, universal home remote. Bucket seats. We want this because I want that power up, down, tailgate. I want that. I also want the rear cross traffic alert and the front and rear parking assist. And that uh, lane change alert with side blind zone. I mean, th those are the ones that you really need. There's another basically $2,000 for this option, but I think it's worth it, right? They're going to remove our bench seat and give us the good stuff. All right, let's move on. Let's see what other package there is. There's a Texas edition package, but we're not going to mess with that. We're all good. We're good. There is, however, a performance upgrade package. You get a performance air intake system and a cat back exhaust. You know I'm all over that. If you watch this, you know, if this channel, you know I'm on that stuff. Uh, change the performance upgrade package. We'll also change the following. Yeah, okay, go for it. Boom, got it. We got that. Next up, there's a technology package. Oh, that's where the heads-up display lies. Yeah, we're going to get that. We're going to get the technology package as well. Yeah, we're loading up this truck, aren't we? We're going to remove the Chevrolet Infotainment 3 Plus system and add all these goodies down here. All right, this is now we're going to get the Chevrolet Infotainment 3 Premium system with navigation, 8-inch, diagonal HD color uh, touchscreen, right? Big upgrade, basically $3,700 upgrade. This truck's getting expensive, but we're going to get the truck that we want. Then here's another package, assist step and tonneau, tonneau cover package. I don't think we're going to get that. I'm not that impressed with that. I think we could skip over that. We have this LTZ convenience package already. And convenience package two, we already have it. We have the LZ71 uh, package. I don't think we need this max trailering package. We had that removed when we upgraded to another package anyway, so I know there's a conflict in that anyhow. We've got the safety package. We've got the safety package two. <laughs> a lot of packages. We don't need the snow and prep package. We, I know we don't need that. And I don't think we need the trailer camera package because, well, I'm not planning on towing. I'm just planning on lifting my Silverado and cruising around. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, let's move on here. We're at step five of eight. And we've got wheel options. So here's some 20-inch wheels that's included in the package. Now, they've got these 22-inch wheels, but if I get these wheels, is it going to remove my package is the question, right? I like some of these, like, say, these. 
Those look interesting. Those are RST models feature black bow ties. Gotcha. And then what do these look like? Eh, they're just all right. And then what about these? Now, those look nice. RST models feature black bow ties. Da -da 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 -da. Now, what happens if I want to select these? Can I get those wheels? No, I have to remove that whole package. And I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to do that. I get it because you got the off-road package. Should roll around with smaller wheels and tires. I get that whole thing. But, you know, why can't we just option these the way we want? At any rate... I would like to get those 22-inch wheels, but we're not going to get them because I'm not willing to remove the, uh, the off-road package. So we're going to leave the wheels and tires alone. Um, we've got the 10-speed transmission. We're going to leave that alone. We're going to leave the rear axle ratio alone because I don't know enough about that stuff to move it around. The hill descent control, we have it. The two-speed auto track transfer case, got it. High-capacity air filters, skid plates, we got all that stuff. We got the dual out outlet exhaust package. Cap, we got the performance exhaust, everything. Wheel locks, give us the wheel locks, unless it's going to remove something. We don't have a sunroof. I'm pretty sure we probably would have had a sunroof, but let me double check. I guess we don't have a sunroof. All right. Power retractable assist steps. I like that. Do they show us a photo of that? Nope, they sure don't, but we'll take those. Most of you, while you're watching this video, probably know what those steps look like. All right. Anything else down here that we want? Uh, we've got the spray and bed liner. Uh, I kind of like the trifold tunnel cover, to be honest with you. But the, not the soft one. Not the soft one. Give me the good one. Give me this hard one right here for $1,100. bucks. we will take that bad boy. Uh, what else? Do I want the, the my? I don't need my bow tie emblems changed. I don't need splash guards at this point. Because like I said, I'd be lifting my Silverado. Step one. Um... Everything else, polished exhaust tips, I'm not worried about any of that. Safety, we've got all our safety stuff. Let's move on to interior. That's step eight. All right, here's the interior. Nice place to be. What are the options? We already have the upgraded uh, infotainment system. We've got the front bucket seats. We've got the good Bose system. We've got the wireless charging. We've got the ventilated driver and front passenger seats. We've got the heated second row seats. We've got everything, really. We've got everything we need. We've got the first and second row all-weather floor liners with the Z71 logos. We've got the heads-up display. There's really everything. Do we need the rear under-seat storage? What does that look like? Do we need that? Um, yeah, why not? It's 255 bucks. Why not? I like utility. A truck is all about utility. It's Now we're almost at $70,000. Yeah, this is the price of a luxury car because this is a luxury truck. We've got everything. Rear cross track alert. We've got all the safety. You can see it all there. Let's move on to accessories. Probably nothing in there that we need. I'll show you why in a second. All right, so here we are on the accessories page. And let me show you what I mean. So Chevrolet or General Motors, they have all these miscellaneous little uh, different things you can get for the little options and accessories and I just don't think we need all this stuff. Bed products like nets and tie-downs and cargo management and trailering and vehicle care and stuff like interior and floor mats and all that. You know what? There is a place for all that, but we're not going to go through all of these. All these accessories can be gotten anytime, either before you buy the vehicle, like we're building and pricing now, or after you buy the vehicle, you can go right to your local Chevy dealer and get any of those accessories. So we're going to skip over all those accessories today, and we're going to jump right to the summary okay here we are so life started for this vehicle at about forty nine thousand dollars we added a a lot of options we added ten thousand six hundred seventy five dollars in packages sixty six hundred dollars in options i mean we went to funky town on it for sure i mean now we're looking at almost sixty eight thousand dollars but you know what we have a 2019 silverado that we want to drive i mean we really do so we're at the end of the video i'm going to go ahead and wrap this up if you like the way I built and priced this 2019 Chevy Silverado 1500 LTZ, I've printed off the build summary, and it's in the description below right now. So you can go ahead and check that out if you want. Other than that, I'm going to wrap this video up. You have a nice day, and I'm going to see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. I really, really, really.